Nigeria may soon have a law that will prescribe capital punishment for kidnappers. Kidnapping for ransom is becoming rampant in the country, and the Nigerian Senate now says it will commence the process of enacting a law that will punish convicted kidnappers with the death penalty. But there's still no public agreement as yet on the issue. Here's more from CCTV's Deji Badmus. If there was one man who understands the pain and trauma of kidnapping, it's security expert on Aikomo. He managed to escape a kidnapping incident some time ago, but not after losing his friend and a bodyguard. My friend uh, with whom I was riding in his own car was shot to death just like that, unprovoked, along with uh, my bodyguard, uh, uh, Taju Akinwumi. He was killed for nothing, for doing nothing, just for being there. And, uh, you know, uh, and that was it. They didn't offer any resistance. They didn't fight. They didn't uh, hit them you know, or whatever. So, I mean, and I hate to think that if I hadn't fought my way out of that uh, crisis that day, perhaps I would have ended up dead also. His case is just one of the series of kidnappings that now take place across the country. From the abductions of foreign oil workers in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria for ransom, the trend has now spread to every part of the country. And the target has since gone beyond foreigners to include both high profile and ordinary Nigerians. In 2015 alone, the country's secret police, the DSS, recorded a total of 108 cases of kidnapping and sea piracy in 24 of Nigeria's 36 states. Among the 180 victims, 26 were foreigners. It's this worrying statistics that is now galvanizing the Nigerian Senate to seek to make kidnapping punishable by death. It's a move, Ekomu says, he supports but doesn't think the country's leaders would have the stomach to enforce. Uh, many state assemblies have passed legislation making a kidnap a capital crime, but it's not been enforced. And I think probably the federal law will go the same way also. But the truth of the matter is kidnapping ought to be um, a capital crime in this country, and it ought to be carried out swiftly. But not everyone shares that view. Human rights campaigners like Chino Obiagu are kicking against the proposed law. His group has been pushing for the abolition of the death penalty from Nigeria's constitution. He says the proposed law would only worsen the situation. Experience has shown that when an offense is made a capital punishment, you know, the criminals, the offenders become brutal in order to eliminate evidence. So kidnappers will at all costs avoid being arrested and to wipe out evidence. So we are putting those being kidnapped at risk because there will be high level of violence once they know that if they are arrested, they will go for the gallows. The second point is that severity of punishment does not even discourage criminals. You know, it, it is not, it's not a deterrence to crime. That you make a crime punishable by death does not mean that potential criminals will not commit those crimes. About 20 states in the country have since made kidnapping a capital offense but no one has been executed for kidnapping. Even after passing the law, most of the state governors have not shown the strong will to enforce it. So some people are arguing that if that does not change, the kidnappers would fail to get the message that they could indeed die if they are caught and convicted for kidnapping. Despite that, the Senate says it will still push ahead with the new law. Deja Badmo, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.